We're already a few games in, but based off what I've seen so far, these are my four bold predictions for the 2022 NBA season. Several teams have the potential to break out and shock the NBA universe, Simmons is still looking for a trade partner, and a first year player north of the border has lived up to the hype thus far. Stay tuned to see which prediction listed today is the most likely to happen. Before continuing, only 26.6% .6 of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you're not in that percentage, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. My first bold prediction for 2022 is that Toronto's number four overall pick in 2021, Scotty Barnes, will win Rookie of the Year. I was at the Raps Pacers game last night, and while cheering my ass off, I got to witness Indiana's rookie Chris Duarte in person. He's got some rare shot making prowess for a first year player. Duarte's leading rookies in points per game, and Jalen Green's third in scoring. Those two will be in the race all year long but second in points among rookies, looking like a veteran with his polished low post moves and passing wizardry is Scotty Barnes. Mavs coach Jason Kidd said it best after playing against Scotty north of the border, saying, quote, he's really, really good. He causes a lot of problems on both ends of the floor and knows how to play the game, and he's gonna be a star in this league if he's not already a star. He loves to play the game. Watching him on tape, you would think that he's been in the league for three or four years, so it's very impressive what he's done early on in his career. Kidd was listed among the top 75 players in NBA history recently, so those words are coming from an all-time great. As a Raps fan, it just feels right when Scotty's handling the rock and dishing passes from the top of the key. It just feels like Scotty's controlling the game. Barnes is still an underdeveloped rookie, but what's scary is how much of an impact he already has on winning. Thumbs up for a separate video to be made entirely on the Raps up and coming phenom, and stay tuned to see if this Barnes prediction is most likely to happen at the end. My second bold prediction is that Ben Simmons gets traded to the Orlando Magic. Former NBA player and perennial all-star under Doc Rivers and Paul Pierce made headlines for saying that Ben Simmons has quote, gotta be an asshole for Doc to kick him out of practice. The Simmons drama has been over talked about and I've already gone over it in this video right here. Given after what went down with Doc Rivers after last year's second round loss, and now the practice altercation, there's no chance that Simmons plays for the Sixers again. I'm predicting that before the deadline hits in 2022, Philadelphia moves on from the overpaid Aussie. Kawhi Leonard did the same thing that Simmons is doing right now when the Spurs wouldn't trade him, and eventually Kawhi got his way. The ego of Daryl Morey demanded three first rounders in return for Simmons at first, and while he's yet to find a trade partner, I think the Magic would be perfect. They're rebuilding right now, they have a lot of young pieces and draft picks to offer up. Bold prediction number three is that typical bottom feeders in the Sacramento Kings, Minnesota Timberwolves, and Charlotte Hornets have breakout seasons. The Kings have gone a full 15 years without getting to the postseason, the longest playoff drought by a full decade. Harrison Barnes averaging 27 through three games, Rashawn Holmes posting 14, 11, and two blocks, and rookie Davion Mitchell bringing physical two-way impact has given the Kings a solid two and two record. The Kings were also four and zero in the preseason, topped off by an insane three-point buzzer beater from Barnes in the grill of D Book, Sacktown picked up an impressive win in the Valley last night, while Phoenix, who Sacramento just beat, was 2021's breakout squad, the Kings, along with the shocking Minnesota Timberwolves, seem to be 2022's breakthrough Western Conference teams. In Minneapolis, the trio of Cat, Ants, and D'Lo give the Wolves three 18-plus point-per-game scores. The two most impressive parts about the Wolves are the superstar production from Carl Anthony Towns, who looks faster and stronger than he's ever been, and secondly, the sophomore explosion from Anthony Edwards. Edwards has stepped up into a legit second score next to Towns, which is exactly what Minnesota fans were hoping for. The Wolves are 3-1 so far, coming off an incredible win on the road in Milwaukee last night. Moving on to the team with Ant's sophomore rival on it in LaMelo Ball, the Charlotte Hornets. Most notably in Buzz City, 
has not only been the progression of Melo, who's putting up 26 and 6 averages through five games, but the bona fide star output from Miles Bridges. Fueling Charlotte to a 4 and 1 blistering start, Bridges is currently number five in the NBA behind Butler, Jokic, Durant, and Giannis in win shares. Miles is posting 26 and 8 averages on a shooting line of 53 40 91. Just an insane start from the 23 year old. A separate video on the electric and shocking Hornets is definitely coming up, that is, if James Borrego's team keeps winning. Before showing you the most likely take of mine to come true, last but not least, the final Bolts prediction is that Chicago's Big Four, or really their Big Five if you include Caruso like I do, will earn a top three seed in the Eastern Conference. DeMar DeRozan didn't shoot too well in his Toronto homecoming, but he still iced the game down the stretch on a night where Levine was getting locked up. Throughout an entire game, maybe it's possible to shut down either Levine or DeRozan, but keeping the two lethal perimeter scores down at once is a near impossibility. It's similar to the threat that Boston's duo in Tatum and Brown poses, only the Bulls have another two all-star caliber players after that in Lonzo Ball and Nikola Vucevic. Lonzo's such an elite defender who gets little to no credit for being one, he also creates flow for the Bulls' offense with his passing, of course. Vucevic is second behind Jimmy Butler in defensive win shares in the early going, shockingly stepping up as an elite defender at the five spot. Along with the defense and rebounding from Vooch, the team has some elite role players in Alex Caruso and Patrick Williams. The roster also goes 1 through 15, with underrated wing pieces like Alize Johnson, Javante Green, Troy Brown Jr., and Derek Jones Jr. But overall, Scotty Barnes has to not hit the rookie wall, but his ROI winning season could definitely happen with how surprisingly NBA ready he's looking. The Wolves, Hornets, or Kings are definitely capable of breaking out, but I have the Bulls earning a top three seed in the East as my most likely bold prediction. Let me know your most likely bold prediction of mine to come true. This was D-Flow. You're the best for sticking around. Keep watching some of my recent uploads, and I'll see you next video.